Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. My name is Gary and this is episode number seven. In the last video we made, we just signed Dwight Gale. He didn't last long at our club, his body fell apart and we signed him as a scout. So what has happened to Bucks in the time since the last video? Well, we got promoted into the Vanarama National South, we finished third and then got truly FM'd in the playoffs. So now we find ourselves in the Vanarama National North for some reason and we're in the season of 2025-2026, trying to get ourselves promoted from level 10 to the Prem. If you like goals, this is a great episode for you. Welcome back. We're in the year 2025, and uh, let's go through what last season looked like. So we finished third in the Vanarama National League South, after playing 40 games, we won 23 of them, tied 11, lost 6, scored 104. We got ourselves into the playoffs and in the first round, you saw that Hemel beat Slough and that meant that they then played us in the semi-final. And unfortunately, we lost that game 1-0 to Hemel and we just really didn't perform. And it's one of those games where, you know, if you look here, we scored at a goal disallowed in the 85th minute. It makes you want to quit the game and restart, but of course we don't do that here. Um, so instead, we've now found ourselves in the Vanarama National League North for the 25-26 season. And we're trying to get ourselves into the Vanarama National. So let's go and have a look at where the club kind of stands right now. The biggest red flag that we've got coming up here is this overall balance of $167,000 in debt, pounds, sorry. £157,000 um, lost this season and our finances are going like the, uh, the direction of the Titanic. We are sinking quick. So we really need to get promoted out of the Vanarama National League North to get ourselves into uh, one step away from pro football. Let's get ourselves looking at the transfers because we, we kind of gambled a bit. We spent some money on wages that you know we were hoping to get ourselves out of the league. So let's go to a regen called Carl Marshall. Here he is, released by Southampton. If you look at his history, Southampton bought him from Burnley for 140,000 and a few years later he's now out of the league at Buck CC. Welcome back to Buck CC, Lachlan Brook. He got poached away by Grimsby, if you remember rightly. 38 goals in 34 games. Went to Grimsby, failed, and now he's back at home where he feels comfortable again. So welcome back, Lachlan Brook. Aaron Powell is a left back, released by QPR. He's got some great uh, pace, good acceleration, some good fitness, good decision, nice tackling. And he'll be a nice backup in the left back role. Marcus Sheldon, uh, regen from Bristol City, has actually got some really good stats. Dribbling of 14, finishing of 13. He's currently injured, uh, but we are we're hoping good things for him. Even though he's only worth two and a half thousand pounds, I think he really could be a good signing for the future. Here is Dwayne Sewell. He's been released by Villa. We've picked him up on a free. He's worth 12,000 pounds. We're paying him 750 a week. He could be a proper poacher in this league. Let's go to Tom Chiabi, released by Cardiff. Solid centre back at six foot two, no nonsense, and he will be a starter for us. Ola Okowo, I think I pronounced his name incorrectly there, but he is an attacking fullback, released from Norwich. Nigerian under 20 international, £35,000 he's worth. Let's go to Barney Sodi. What a great name. Barney Sodi, also released from Bristol City, an attacking left-sided fullback. And then we've got Mads Bistrup, who's valued at £95,000. Now, this kid has been at some great clubs, and I'm surprised that we've been able to get him. You know, it, Red Bull lies pick at £1.8 million they paid for him. Then he went to Brentford for £825,000, £600,000 to Southampton, and he's now at Buck CC on a free... So he will be our central midfielder there. And then who else? Jonathan Rowe. What an attacking talent this kid is. Released from Norwich, got some good physicals, some good wing play, and he could really chip in with some goals playing out wide left. 
Go to Josh Allen. He is a, a Luton reject. Uh, he's going to be playing as an advanced forward. I think he's got some really good stats to play in our division. Um, not really great mentals, apart from the, the nice determination. But finishing a 14, a bit of pace, a bit of acceleration. I'm sure he will notch some goals. And then we brought in a young lad from Millwall who is a, an under-21 international for Northern Ireland. He will sit as a kind of a replacement. We've said goodbye to a few of these guys. We won't waste much more time on them. But basically, that is our setup. Let's have a look at our tactics. Here we are then in our 4-2-4. Might change this to be as a centre midfielder right there. Pozzo here is one of our long-standing players. He's had 58 games for us and uh, released by Man City. He's still here. Spazov, have a look. I mean, I know he's a, a legend in some other content creators games, but he has found ourselves at Bucks EC, 21 goals in 29 games. And, uh, and then we've got David Agbontohoma, who's played 36 games for us. And, and there we go. That is our setup. We've got a, a few other boys in this team. We have a little look. Nathaniel Klein can't get a, a game at Buck CC. Sorry, Nathaniel. And that's about it. So, one kid to little look to have a look out for is a regen for us. is called Ryan Cholton. He's worth five hundred pounds. We're paying him twenty pounds a week. He's seventeen. He's actually been wanted by a few clubs that are above our, well, kind of around our area, but a few other clubs were looking into him. Anyway, this is our formation, 4-2-4. We are trying to go, go and beat basically South Shields in the first game of the season. So let's have a little look at what we're looking at here. Mads Bistrup, lacking match sharpness. Yeah, he's going to make his debut. Cross fingers here. Last year, it all, looked, it all looked really well. We were top of the league around Christmas time and then it just fell apart. We're going to tell all of our players here that we have faith in them. Go make a difference. Go out there. Here we go. In our maroon and sky blue kit, we are playing at home. And our home stadium actually changed. We moved from our park field called Nalgo and we are now playing at Owsbury United's old ground, called Buckingham Road. Uh, if you want to Google it, you'll notice that Owsbury United have actually had to play outside of the town centre for a number of years. They've actually been playing, I believe, at Chesham. And uh, we find ourselves in Champ actually taking over Buckingham Road, which would be great if we could actually, in real life, bring the Ducks home. All right, Josh Allen plays the ball into Spazov and it's 1-0 after 45 seconds on the opening game of the season. Slavi Spazov playing in the false nine role. Bidstrop there, the orchestra. Josh Allen plays it into Spazov and that is a lovely little finish. Curling it round the goalkeeper. 1-0 up against South Shields. And Spazov gives us a cartwheel to celebrate. Uh-oh. And it's 1-1. And it looks like Okoro is now injured. So we've had, in the first minute of our game, not only have we had one of our top players go down injured, we are now pegged back to 1-1. Okay. Thankfully, we have some, some depth in this squad and Powell will also come on for his debut. Goal kick to South Shields here. Let's see what we can do with the ball in the air. Sewell nods it back into Slavi and he lays the ball into Josh Allen and he's got to do better in that position. Now, one player you may not have seen is a Chinese Chinese player called Dong Dahi. We got him from Wolves and last year he scored 40 goals but he's currently injured and so that's why Josh Allen is getting the start up through the middle. Sewell into Bidstrup, into Sewell, out wide to Powell on his debut, crosses it in on his left is he offside? No, he's not. Slavi gets his second goal of the game. 
That looked pretty close to being offside there. Now, obviously, you see that Powell there is left-footed. He's mainly a, a left-back, but we've actually had to bring him on as a right-sided fullback, and he swings his left foot, it curls it in. Josh Allen with a deflected header, and Spazov is there to finish it. He has doubled his tally. We are now 2-1 up. We're keeping good possession at 63% compared to South Shields at 37. Powell with the long throw. And their goalkeeper rises high to clutch it in the air. We don't really mess about with it at the back too much. Alfie Burnett is our goalkeeper. He's had 100 appearances as our goalkeeper. He isn't good, but when you've got attacking talent, kind of we, we kind of our motto is score more goals than you. And that is kind of probably why we didn't get promoted last year. Oh, it's ball in and Spazov is in on his hat trick. Three for Spazov after 25 minutes. And it, the cartwheel must be his, uh, his traditional goal celebration. Alfie Burnett with a ball over the top. Horrific defending. And Spazov is there to finish it. And we are now 3-1 up after 25 minutes. And this is a pretty good first game of the season with a brand new team. Corner, Pozzo swings it in. Chaibi. Oh no, it's, is it Spazov? It's Spazov with his fourth goal of the game. Chaibi won the header and Spazov was there like a fox in the box to score his fourth goal. It honestly looked like Chaibi there must have scored, like the ball must have brushed off of Spazov. Long throw by Powell into the box. All kinds of carnage in there. Goalkeeper misses it. Back out to Powell. Get that lefty. Uh-oh. Yes, Agbontoma. There's a lot of direct play with our Buck CC team right now. Headed clear and Spazov in that false nine roll. Ball into Josh Allen. And it's 5-1 in the first half. What a great result this is turning out to be so far. The first game of the season, the boys barely know each other. Spazov is the orchestrator. Four goals and one assist and puts it on a plate for Josh Allen to finish for his first goal of the season. And we are, we are cruising here against South Shields. Rowe into Pozzo, into Marshall. Into Chaibi. Oh, this is lovely play. Buck CC just enticing South Shields in. And the switch of play out to Saul. Go on, take him on. Ball into Spazov. In the box. It's six. Spazov with his fifth goal of the game. Slavy Spazov is a hero at Buck CC. This is quite incredible. 38 minutes into the game and Slavi Spazov has his fifth goal of the season. And it is, I've got to say, it is such a shame that in the playoff semis last year, we lost 1-0. Just one of those games where we couldn't, get, we couldn't get a shot on target. And then, of course, we go and reinforce the team and we're 6-1 up in the first half. We've got to do a whole season now. Whole season. Well, that's a pretty incredible first half, if I uh, say so myself. 6 1. Slabby Spazov as five. Let's get in the dressing room. Uh, I think we just go hands together, very happy. You know, and we probably tell. Let's just tell Slabby he's having a great game. Pump fists. <laughs> you weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. Yeah, let's tell him that. It's not enough that you scored five goals. All right. I'd say that uh, Josh can play better. 
we're doing we're, we're playing the only person who's not really doing well or doing good enough is Carl Marshall so let's just say he can play well play better go into the tactics a couple of people on yellow cards I think maybe it might be time let's give uh, let's give Ryan Charlton Ryan Charlton our young young kid a go over on the left and let's change him Change him with Sewell. All right, here we go. Ryan Cholton, one of our Youth Academy kids. Slavi Spazov wins the ball and it's into Josh Allen, lays it back into Bidstrup, into Pozzo, back to Bidstrup, into Sewell on that inside forward roll. Josh Allen out to Pozzo, swings it out to Marshall, in our overlapping fullback. And there he is, Ryan Cholton, 17 years old, from the Bucks CC Academy, scores his debut goal, his first goal for the club, in the basically second minute, third minute of him coming on. And it's 7 1. Well, there you go. What a great start for his career at Bucks CC. For those of you that are wondering, where is Eric Natambi? Well, we've got him on loan for a second year and then he went and broke his leg. So Eric Natambi is nursing a broken leg. He'll be out for a while. And uh, are we still paying his wages? Of course we are. So that is, um, that is <laughs> just what happens. Oh, what is Marshall doing there? He's gonna be sent off. There you go, second yellow card for Marshall. That's probably my fault. He was on a yellow card and I didn't change him and in from, uh, from tackling hard. And now we're down to 10 men. Who is going to get pulled off here? Let's see. One of the forwards. Let's say Josh Allen. You know what? Let's take Slavy off. Slavy comes off. And we'll put on a left. Well, not really sure what we do here because we don't really have another fullback on the bench you know what I'm going to put in I'm going to put in Caleb Brown and I'm going to put Caleb Brown in the left back role he's not going to like it down there but he's just going to have to deal with it and we know what we'll change the mentality to just more cautious penalty to South Shields in the 60th minute after Marshall has now been sent off that has now gone to 7-2 Funny enough, the last time there was a 7-2 result, I believe it was Watford versus Blackpool. Blackpool went 2-0 up against Watford at home and then Watford scored seven in return. Now, I don't think that South Shields have got anything to come back to on this one. Josh Allen is also a little bit injured and we've got no more subs, so he will play until he has got nothing left in the tank. Free kick, Pozzo drifts it in. Headed clear, back out to Ryan Charlton, the young buck. Swings it in. Josh Allen makes it 8-2. Ryan Charlton with a goal and an assist on his debut from the academy. 8-2. Crazy, crazy result. And if this is, a, if this is an indication of how our season is going to go... 104 goals, we could definitely beat that. La Got to be the last highlight of the game here. Caleb Brown with the ball out on the left flank. Switches it into Pozzo, into Josh Allen. Sewell breaks into the box and fires it wide. If you're an attacker in this team, you've got to love playing for us. If you're a defender, probably, probably not much. because we are pretty much all out attack. South Shields playing out the last few minutes. In the last minute of, uh, of added on time, Ryan Charlton there giving away the free kick. Come on referee, blow the whistle. Let's have this game over. And a harmless free kick goes out of play. And that is a final result 
on the first day of the season, it is 8-2 to Buck CC. That was a great win, lads. Well done. Slavi Spazov with five goals. Well done, Slavi. All right. Yeah. Okioo out injured. Josh Allen injured, but did score. Marshall has been banned for a game. Um, we'll just issue a warning. And here we go. Look at that. Slavi Spazov. Five goals from sh uh, six shots on target. And last year, I mean, he scored 23 from 34. He's pretty much all the, oh, nearly nearly a quarter of, the, quarter of the way there. Well, thank you for tuning in. That was a great first result of the season. 8-2. And uh, our forwards are doing the business. So check in. We'll probably have a highlight towards the end of the season to see how we uh, how we do in the Vanarama National League North. Concerns about the finances. Can we keep this team afloat long enough to get ourselves out of this league? I don't know. We'll see. But Slavi Spazov could be the top goal scorer of our team. Thank you for watching.